Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from K Hux Nation, and in today's video, we're finally, finally, <laughs> we're having a Pokemon Masters video uh, here on the channel. I've been meaning to make more Pokemon Masters stuff lately, especially with how into the game I've been lately. Like, I, I absolutely love this game. Um, the rate that you get currency is kind of low, like really low, which is probably the only major negative I have about the game but otherwise for the most part it's it's a lot of fun um it has a lot less restrictions compared to most other gacha games but all in all I, I love the game and I've been meaning to make content for it uh but anyways for today's video we're gonna be talking over or talking about the newest unit that just got it into the game as well as uh the newest event that kind of to go along with it kind of like what they did with uh Lyra, not Lyra, uh, forgot, oh man, we'll just, she, she should be next to her, yeah, this girl, Olivia, there we go, and Lycanroc, I forgot their names for a second, today's video is about Lyra and Chikorita, so I'm just gonna simply go over their moveset, um, and my thoughts about them, as to like, you know, how meta they are, or whatnot, or not meta, um, how they place in terms of whether or not maybe you should try chasing for this type of unit if you want to chase for it. Uh, now, just for some context in case you're not aware, I do currently own most of the Pokemon in the game as of right now. I can go ahead, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you my decks real quick so you can go ahead and see. I contain a good majority of the Pokemon. Um, there's only like small handfuls here and there that I don't have. Like I have almost all of the three star units, except I I'm only missing three three star units. I'm missing, it's probably the four star units that I'm missing the most. Uh, one, two, three, five, six, nine. Was that like nine four star? And then there's only like four or five stars that I, I need left at this point. Uh, one of them being the newest one, which is Chikorita. So I have a good majority of them. So I have a pretty good idea of what's good uh, and what's to be used and such. But anyways, let's go back to the Pokemon. So first of all, we'll go over its moveset first and its stats and whatnot so that you can see it. Uh, la, 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 there it is. Okay. So obviously Chikorita is a grass type. It will know Energy Ball, which has a power of 58. It's a special attack. 100% uh, accuracy only targets one opponent. Has a very small chance of lowering the target's special defense and does consume two Energy Bars. Also knows Light Screen. This consumes three Energy Bars. Uh, affects your all of your allies. Reduces special damage done to the allied field of play. Basically, it reduces any special attacks damage that would be dealt to your team. Also knows Dire Hit All, which raises the critical hit rate of all of your allies. Also knows Sunny Side Up, which is actually fairly good if you have the right Pokemon to pair up with. Uh, raises the attack, special attack, and speed of all allied sync pairs. Sharply raises them if the weather is sunny. So at base, let me put that back up. So at base, it's already kind of, not broken, but it's it's one of the best buff abilities that's currently in the game from what i can tell uh off the top of my head because most other buff abilities in the game that affect all allies usually are only buffing one type of stat and that's it maybe two at most but this is the first one that i've seen so far that actually buffs up three entire stats all at the same time um and the fact that it gets stronger if it's sunny as well is just an added bonus like that is that can be pretty strong um now it is worth noting that there is currently only one pokemon in the entire game that actually that actually knows the move sunny day that's the only way to actually make the field sunny in case you're not aware um it's not like in this game because I, I i know in this game when you do story mode and you know all the events and stuff it looks like you're going to some location to go battle and whatnot um and just for reference, in case you're new to the game, the location doesn't determine what the weather is. 
uh, you have to have a Pokemon move that actually influences the weather. And as of right now, there's only one Pokemon in the game that actually knows the move Sunny Day, and that is Blair's uh, Pontia. I'm so There he is. I don't have an unlock. <laughs> I haven't unlocked the move yet. Hold on. Who's in skills? There it is. Oh, I might as well earn it now. There we go. Sunny day. Only Blaine's uh, Pontia is the only Pokemon in the game that can learn Sunny Day at the moment. So if you want to take advantage of Chikorita's uh, sharp increase in stat buffs, that extra effect for the ability you have to have Pontia on the team in order to be so kind of kind of a setback and that's that's kind of how it is for other uh weather related type pokemon as well um most of the weather pokemon that have the the weather move tend to be three star units so they'll tend to lack some something that the other units don't quite have so whether it be uh, their stats are kind of low, so they either don't have much defense or don't do that much damage. Or, on the flip side, their abilities are kind of basic, so you don't really get nearly as much utility out of them as you might with some of the other ones. So, you're, you're going to be lacking some major component when you're using some of the three stars uh, because of that, which is kind of unfortunate. As far as I'm aware, there's only one actual five-star unit in the game that knows the weather move. And that is Polysan. That's uh, Acerola's Polysan. It knows Sandstorm. Okay, so having a, a Sandstorm team can actually be pretty decent. Uh, what I've been kind of doing myself as well is I've been doing Sandstorm with Rock's Tyranitar. That's actually pretty good. Tyranitar, even though it, it's a Pokemon given to you just by doing the story mode, Tyranitar is actually pretty decent. He's pretty decent for a three star Pokemon, not gonna lie. I use this Rock Slide all the time, um, especially when you combine it with like your superior, for example, uh, and you use like time to energize to just refill all your move gauges. It can be low key broken <laughs> to just abuse the three gauge abilities uh, like that. But you need you need Pokemon like superior in order to do that. Anyways, in terms of Chikorita though, go back. Okay, I didn't go through all of it. Her Sync move is Grass Sync Beam. It's a special attack, does 240 power. Uh, only targets one opponent, it doesn't have any additional effects. Uh, and her passive skill is called Solar Shield. Pokemon is not affected by status conditions when the weather is sunny. So again, she seems to be a Pokemon that's kind of favored towards like a weather-based team. Um, which isn't too bad because you can still have Pontia and then maybe like two five-star units or maybe like, you know, a four-star unit and Chikorita all in the same team and still make a fairly decent comp. Uh, one of the things that I like about Pokemon Monsters so much is the fact that the game isn't strictly tied to having a team full of just five-star units. Um, because of the fact that there is a little bit of strategy involved, there's a lot of viable teams that you can easily run using a combination of three, four, and five star units. So that's one of the benefits that I like the most about this game. So the fact it's not, it still follows a lot of the the mechanics of a gacha game, but still feels like Pokemon, if that makes sense. Um, so that's that's one of the aspects I like about it. In terms of whether or not Chikorita, I, ooh, I, may not I didn't like know I could it, do that. But I In terms of whether or not I think Chikorita is like meta or whatnot, where I could, um here are my thoughts about it as of right now chikorita has some oh there we go chikorita has some pretty good stats although they're mostly tied to just the uh the special attack stat okay that's her best stat uh at 183 uh special attack but it's not the highest i would say Right now, there's two grass Pokemon in the game who are the best, in terms of uh, damage anyways, who are the best grass type Pokemon. Um, one of them being Trico. Trico is an absolute... 
He's a freaking truck. He's ridiculous. I actually have to go. Uh, let me go to my dex real quick so you can... Because I don't have the other one. Let's see. Uh, this one. Um, Gardenia and Roserade. This is also one of the, the strongest uh, grass-type Pokemon in the game as well. Okay. She has... Let me, let, I pulled it up. She... Roserade has, at level 100, has a special attack of 304, which is insane. Okay, Chikorita was a 183, not counting when it's fully evolved either. When uh, Chikorita is fully evolved, uh, Mag Magnium, uh, yeah, Meganium, I don't know how to pronounce it. Her special attack is 193, so it doesn't go up that much, it only goes up by 10. Uh, but Roserade's Special attack is a 304, and then Trico. Actually, yeah. Does it show which stats in here? Oh, cool, cool. There we go. Trico has a special attack of 306, as well as an attack of 306. So he's one of the he's he's one of the strongest powerhouses in the game as of right now, let alone grass types. Um, so in terms of the meta, if you're looking for just pure damage, Chikorita is not your Pokemon. Um, Chikorita is a, I believe she was a support type anyways. Yeah, she is a support role. Thing. So she's mostly used for kind of a, how do you word it? She's mostly, she's mostly meant for helping the rest of your Pokemon. It's helping your team. Uh, rather than trying to dish out damage. So the fact that she deals a decent amount of damage and can still support your team pretty decently is a big plus. But kind of like how I mentioned before though, she's only really, she's kind of geared towards a weather-based team though. So if you're not using Sunny Day, probably don't need to use Chikorita as much just because of the fact that you're not going to get nearly as much benefit out of her. Especially because of the fact that both her passive rely on Sunny Day, as well as Sunny Side Up, you don't really get full true value out of Sunny Side Up unless you have Sunny Day active. It's You're probably better off you maybe using a different Pokemon instead to fill her slot. So, In terms of the meta, I don't really feel like she's meta at all whatsoever. Maybe in very niche situations, if you can actually get the sunny side, I mean, the, the sunny day team put together. But aside from that, and it also has to be against enemy Pokemon that a sunny day team would actually work with. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I don't really feel like Chikorita is actually that meta. She's a good Pokemon, of course, um, as is pretty much any five-star that comes out so far, but nothing I would write home about. But other than that, that's going to be it for today, guys. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are about Chikorita in the comment section down below. If you do have any grass Pokemon you do want to train, by the way, there is a newest event that just came out alongside Chikorita. Um, and it's the grass type training event. Basically, any grass type Pokemon that you use in the event, uh, they'll gain an increased amount of uh, XP when you beat the, uh, complete the battle. Um, so it's kind of like free level ups for your grass type Pokemon, as well as the fact that you're also getting training manuals uh, just by beating the level two, which you can also use on your other Pokemon or on, on your grass Pokemon too, to level them up even further. So it's the same exact thing as the rock type training event that came out with Olivia uh, and Lycanroc. So it's, it's not too different, but yeah. Other than that, go ahead and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from K-Hux uh, Nation, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.